My name is Alyssa Wagner. I used to be Alyssa Hildebrand. I graduated in December of 2017 from DSU. I teach at the middle school currently and coach basketball at the high school. Hi, I'm Channing Wagner. I graduated in the spring of 2016 and I am the operations and maintenance manager at the Dickinson Theodore Roosevelt Regional Art Program. I was refing intramural basketball um, and Channing just happened to be on a team and we, I think we kind of had at least seen each other before but never knew yeah, each other probably. and I was refing one of their games and it got like pretty heated. This one short stocky football player was trying to guard Channing and Channing was driving baseline and I thought it was a good enough play and so I didn't call a foul and the kid who was playing defense on Channing got like super pissed and or, mad and he's, he got super mad and he stormed out, like threw his sweatpants on, stormed out, and it was really awkward. And then after the game, Channing came up to me and was like, thank you for doing a good job and shook my hand. And I was like, oh. but then that was it for a while. We didn't start dating after that. Or yeah, anything. we didn't talk to each other for quite a while after that, yeah. you know, a couple, two, three, three months, months after that or so. Yeah. Yep. Um, but I thought when I was watching, I'm like, man, this guy's got a nice jump shot. It's like way to my heart. <laughs> You know, she reached out to me, actually. I always give her that whenever she's mad at me. Um, I let her know that she's the one that, you know, reached out first, and I think she wished me a happy birthday in May, early May, and, you know, it didn't really, you know, start anything after that, and I don't know, after that, it might have been a couple weeks or a month after that, we might have reached out again, and then we started talking after that. And yeah. The rest was history after that. Yeah, we went on our first date, and it was just, it was so fun, and, and simple and yeah, it was, it was great. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, so I actually took her out to our family farm, out to our, we call it the fire pit or our, uh, garbage pit, and we, you know, shoot targets and whatnot out there. So that was our first day, it was uh, going shooting, which she did a better job than I did. It was so targets, fun so. though, because that's like, I had never really done that a whole lot before, but he, before we went, he went to runnings and grabbed these things, like, instead of like a clay pigeon shooter, he used these, it was like this plastic thing, and you like, huck them, but like, they didn't, we couldn't get them to like, fly very well, so it was like, every third throw, we'd get one to go, and I remember, like, one of the first times he tried it, he like, goes to throw it, and he follows through, like, right at my forehead, and I'm like, oh my god, but luckily, it didn't fly out, because if it would have, I would have broken my nose. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so every year um, over Easter we go down to St. George, Utah because Alyssa's grandparents have a house down there. Um, and so it was getting to be about that time where, you know, I was really starting to like her and I thought I could see myself with her. And so I knew I was going to propose down at the golf course because we both love the golf as well. Um, so we're down in St. George over Easter. I remember Alyssa and her grandparents and her mom went in a separate vehicle and I was in a vehicle with her dad. It was like the first like four or five miles were super awkward, didn't really know how to start the conversation. Um, prior to getting in the vehicles, I just happened to show her mom um, that was in my golf bag and she was like super excited. So anyway, get in the vehicle, super awkward. Any person that's ever had to ask, you know, a dad for permission is, you know, it's very nerve wracking on the person that's gonna be asking. So anyway, start talking and yeah, he was super happy about it and uh, we had a good conversation and then he kind of asked me like, when are you gonna get married? Like, you guys gonna wait a year, year and a half? And I was like, oh, you know, we'll probably just take time and figure it out. And, after we got engaged, I think it was, what, four or five four months. months after that. So, yeah. you know, that was fun and quick. But yeah, that was kind of our, you know, uh, am I missing anything else? Uh, well, that was the plan. And they, like, totally duped me, too. Like, I feel, the, well, the whole time before, I was kind of like, oh, I wonder if this could possibly happen because it's, like, our favorite place and all these things. So I actually thought if it was going to happen, it was going to happen the day before. Like, I had it all figured out in my head. Like, I thought I just totally stymied him. And then it didn't happen. And I was like, oh, my gosh, like, this obviously isn't going to happen. And then the next day we went golfing and everybody played it off so well. It was so, it's so fun looking back. But we got to the 18th hole and my dad was like, oh, great news. Like, your mom and your grandma are just going to meet us out here because it was chanting my dad and my grandpa and I golfing. And they're like, we're just going to eat out here. And I'm like, yes, because that's a big part of our vacations is where we eat. Um, and so I was like, that's perfect. Like, we'll finish this hole. So we get done with the hole. My mom and grandma are waiting for us on the green, which I just was like, that's so wonderful. I birdie the hole, get the ball out. I'm like walking it off. And then Channing's like, Liz, look at this ball I just found. 
And I grabbed it just perfectly to where it just had the sign, like it had these money signs on it. And I was like, oh yeah, money. And he's like, no, like flip it over. And so I flipped it over and it said, marry me with a question mark. And then he got down on one knee and I just like, and it was, it was just so special. And of course my mom was there taking pictures, thank goodness, because I love those pictures so much. Yeah. 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 And it was also the last round of golf that we played with my grandpa. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, yeah, that memory is like so special to me. We have two little boys. Grayson is four and Brooks will be two at the end of April. Um, they're wild. They're so fun though. Yeah. I just, they're, they're great. And I feel like I'm so glad that DSU brought Channing and I together because I don't know that I could have possibly found a better dad for my kids. I coach basketball at the high school and it's such a big commitment and I'm gone so much. Like this week, I haven't been home at all. And Channing's just an all-star and he does such a good job with them. It just, it makes life a whole lot easier. Uh, favorite restaurant on a date night? Um, I would say Blue 42 is kind of our go-to if yeah. you're picking. Yeah, absolutely. Big Blue 42 fan. Thanks, Mike LaFour. <laughs> uh, if I could travel anywhere in the world, where would I go? Oh gosh, anywhere. We love Seattle. We love St. George. Um, places we haven't been to? I don't... There's like one in particular that I really want to go to. Is it in the United States? Not even close, no. Iceland. Yep, there you go. That's pretty good. Uh, what is my favorite flavor of ice cream? Coquito. No. Cookies and cream? No. Lemon. Lemon. Where at? And the little place in Medora. I don't know. Yep, what's the strip mall in Medora when you first come into town. Uh, what is my favorite DSU memory? I don't know. See, like, we, we kind of met at the end of our careers at DSU. So I don't know if there's one before me, but probably me. Just me. <laughs> Just yeah, <kidding>. I mean, <laughs> that's the one that comes most to mind is probably. Uh, the basketball game, obviously, when we first met. So. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean. One of our groomsmen that played on his team gave a really cute speech at our wedding. Oh, Shout wow. out, Dave. <laughs> what about that? All right, you're up. That was it? Yeah, that was all five. All right. Who is my celebrity crush? Ah. Uh, I'll give you a sports one. I'll narrow it down. Quarterback. Carson Wentz. God, no. no. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't really have a celebrity crush. I, if, I was, if I was picking that one, I'd say Joe Burrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's my favorite movie? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't do you like... Know, do you have, we don't watch. We like all movies, but we don't like have yeah. like a favorite What about one? favorite TV series? Uh, right now we're watching Suits. But yeah, we've been kind of in. Yellowstone's been good too. So that's kind of as right now. That's our favorite show. Take it. What's my favorite song? Probably our wedding song. Yeah, I know yeah. that one. Yeah. I choose you, Randy Grammer. Not many people know it. How do I like to spend Valentine's Day? Um, I know in the past, you know, I think we went to the first house once or twice. Pretty much just staying at home, maybe getting a movie, you know, maybe ordering some secure takeout. That's probably the ideal one for the Wagners. 100%. Describe me in three words. Smart, caring, and competitive. <laughs> Am I a lefty, a righty, or ambidextrous? Um, your prior like priority is left, but you are ambidextrous. I mean, you can shoot the basketball right-handed, but you you know play golf with your left hand. Yep, I do everything left-handed except for shoot the basketball. Uh, what was my high school mascot? Uh, Panther, the Powell Panthers. That's right. Do I prefer flowers or chocolate? Um, you do like flowers, but you know the chocolate. If I don't eat it all before you get it, you definitely like chocolate covered almonds with like coconut flakes in it. Yes, I do. Or Grayson eats it all. Yep. Grayson eats all our snacks. My name is Channing. And I'm Melissa. And, and this, this is, is our Blue Hawk Love Story. Blue Hawk Love Story.